Hey everybody, welcome back to Reach Out Reptiles. My name is Garrett Hartle, and I am currently freezing my butt off outside of the Reptarium. Let's go in and have a look. What's up, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, nice to meet you. Garrett Hartle. Hi. Garrett, nice to meet you, Eric and my wife, Mary. All right. Welcome, welcome. All right, guys, so check this out. Those of you who've watched my Talk em Up Tuesday the last couple of weeks ago with Eric and Mary from the Reptarium probably already know that I got to actually have the opportunity to stop by and visit there. What you may not have known was that it was a special trip with my daughter, Kira, who was turning eight years old. Ooh. But you're my daughter, so you're like, whatever. <laughs> right? You don't think that's cool and I'm over here having like a once in a lifetime moment? <laughs> I think this is cool. You do think he's cool? Describing it is hard and soft in between his feet. Pink and beautiful and cute. So because I knew I would kind of be driving by, I called up Brian Barcheck, who's been a buddy of mine for quite a while, since way before the YouTube stuff, and told him I really need to come check out the Reptarium to see what he'd done. I'd actually given him tours of the Reptile Zoo in Southern California before, while he was getting ideas for this, and this was, gosh, probably close to a decade ago. So it's something he's been thinking about for a long time, and something that I wanted to see as he got the ball rolling. I love how that flows across, and then you have the the short vertical cages here, so you can get that kind of, it's almost like a bay window. And then they angle around, so you don't have any 90 degree angle there at all. It's also really cool because, I mean, even in such a small space, what's neat is like, you're, you're coming through this hallway here, and you feel tight and restricted, and then it comes and opens up, and it, has, it gives a little bit of, kind of like, sense of grandeur almost you come in here and then it opens up and you've got these bigger cages in here with the baby alligators and then this one I love how three-dimensional it is those roots coming out yeah are just fantastic now Brian wasn't actually there but what he did was call from Italy and tell his staff to open up on a day that they were closed so he could show me and Kira around so it was kind of cool because we ended up getting to uh, check out the Reptarium from two different perspectives. One of a girl who's eight years old. Oh. And one from mine who's been in you know the reptile industry for a long time. And I've actually done quite a bit of uh, you know like custom cage design and builds and things like that. So I was really interested to see how he went about it. So basically what he does is he's got like a little mold that he has for it. And then he paints over it with the dirt and everything to make it look like rock. Really, really cool. And it's super light, huh? Oh yeah, extremely. Yeah, look at that. But they're durable. See, this is this, this stuff right here. This is made of the same stuff. And... This is crazy too. Like I can see as you touch this, they're yeah. actually flexible as well. Yeah, because so they don't make them like, give that little like round feature to them. So these ca actually came flat, yep. and you wrapped it to make it look like a tree. Exactly. Yeah, we have the uh, range of the wall still in, in operation back here. Actually, did you take a look at it? No. Uh, let's so see. It. We have, so we haven't we haven't actually put up the rocks yet, but it's a good idea of how we do the framing of each and every one of these. <laughs> so literally, just two by four frame. I mean, that's pretty simple, guys. You can throw this up. I mean, we did a similar thing at Prehistoric, we're just making everything out of concrete. So we'd throw lathe up, screw it in. Oh, okay. And then they would actually concrete it, we'd carve the rock ourselves, paint it, so it's literally all one piece concrete custom built inside and outside so the cages. it's not too dissimilar from this, it's just basically... It's really not, it's it's basically, you're, you're, you're using it's like this is like mobile homes like modular built off site exactly. the backgrounds yeah, and then you're exactly how we do and then it. you're putting them in now from kira's perspective i know something that was super fun for her the whole time was finding kind of like all just the little hidden easter eggs and gems that are there to find when you're a kid look at an alien alien she'll have to show you to, are There's you guys alien face. what it's for you, all right? don't pull it off hey he matches your shirt not as extreme as these guys. This yeah. is like crazy melanistic. You're pretty fortunate with the two we have. Like, I mean, you can almost not see any pattern. There's, you know, it's just gone. Big black, but if you could have a lizard, is that the one you would would get or what? 
What kind would you get? You don't know? I would get every lizard in the whole wide world. I bet, I bet you would. But it would have to cost one dollar. <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you getting ready to feed the zoo? Uh, these are more than hunting pets. Meal worms. Tell us what we got here. What kind of what kind of reptile food are we looking at here? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> Must be something about this place that makes people do silly pranks. Silly, not a prank, but oh, dares. I'm not really gonna hit one. Look at that baby. Now these are huge, huge tarantulas, but they're sure, beautiful. Think? Isn't that pretty? I'll, I'll just put it right up there behind her butt. Booty. Oh, oh, you gotta get closer. Sorry. Kira, you get, you're holding a two-headed snake. Do you realize that? <laughs> I think they both are at the same time. He looks like a heart. Smile. <laughs> That's pretty wild, huh? <laughs> Wanna give me kisses? Ew. That went in my nose. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, Happy that birthday, one. Too. Happy birthday. You wanna give me a high five for the birthday? Birthday. Booyah! Happy birthday. <laughs> Look at that lizard. Do you know what that is? Throat lizard. Very good. So there's two things right out of the gate that you can probably already tell is, is actually top notch, I mean like world class at the Reptarium. Number one is their collection of animals, which goes without saying because the animals there are pretty amazing. But number two was the quality of their staff. I remember walking through there and just thinking, you know, someday I'd love to be able to find an employee to come work with me at Reach Out Reptiles of this kind of caliber. And I don't know that it's even possible. I mean, they were that good. Like, I don't think the animals are ever going to appreciate this. You know, the animals inside the enclosures aren't appreciating all the work and detail that's done to the outside. But with us as keepers, I think having fewer larger cages like this and putting more effort into it is really gonna help us to just, I don't know, recognize the intrinsic value that's already there in the animals that sometimes we fail to recognize when we throw them all in a bunch of tubs and stuff like that. Kind of reminds us all when we were kids sitting there looking at Steve Irwin playing with animals out in the wild. And it's just like, man, this is what we all saw when we were kids and that's right. what started getting us into animals, seeing them in their habitats. Yeah. So now we can recreate that here. And I think this does it as well. So, you know, great, great job with the designers. Thank you so much. I mean, we worked really, really hard on it. And uh, like, if it wasn't for everyone's like, conducive effort here like this none of this would have been had possible at all like and, and brian tutter reminds us that every single day he tells us like you know if it wasn't for you guys here to sit there and support what he does and how much he must how much he loves us for doing all this you know yeah so it, it, it's it's really it's really cool experience and uh you know i know every single person that works here loves animals till they're they'll cry every single every single one of them you know like these are these are our babies just like you said they're our wards it's a labor of love for sure without yeah. a doubt Absolutely. Which, I mean, case in point, comes in on his day off because I was like, hey, I'm in town, you should show me around. So. <laughs> I know that Brian Barczyk can be kind of a controversial uh, personality within this industry, and you guys are itching to comment down below about what you think about him, or maybe you already have. Uh, if you already hit enter, that stinks, because I'm about to tell you that I don't care what you think about Brian. Um, you know, I really don't care what you guys think about anybody. And one of the questions I hate the most is when somebody asks me my opinion on somebody that they've had, that had bad reviews about or something like that. It's not that I'm trying to hide anything or cover up for somebody or praise them and make them into something they're not. I just honestly have this opinion that nobody is purely evil or purely good. And if we are wise, you and I, looking introspectively for a second, then we can learn from anybody. I mean, I know that spending that time with my own daughter who grew up under my roof and is only eight years old, I was able to learn a lot about the way that nature connects with us as people just from watching her at the zoo. So heck yeah, I can learn a thing or two from somebody like Brian Barczyk who spent his entire life around reptiles. I'm not here to stand on any kind of soapbox about that tonight or anything like that. I would just encourage you guys to sort of do the same thing. Think for yourselves. You don't have to follow what everybody says about what everybody else is. And just go out there, enjoy life, learn what you can from who you can, whenever you can, and you will continue to grow. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you next week.